Hi guys, I thought that since we couldn't be together tomorrow that maybe we'd have a little devotion here on the little YouTube site. And I especially want to give a shout out to John. I really appreciate all the hard work you're doing on the site. And I'm hoping that this is going to become a regular. So you guys let me know what you think and yeah. Anyway, um, I thought since uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving that we talk a little bit about how God is always with us and how God answers our prayers. A lot of times when we pray, uh, we have an idea on how that prayer should be answered, uh, especially if we're looking for something or if we want something in particular. Uh, we ask God for specifics, and a lot of times God may choose to answer our prayers in a different way. And when that happens, we have a tendency to say that God didn't answer our prayers and because they didn't come out the way that we had hoped and I wanted to share a little story with you that I had read this morning in my devotional. Um, and it's about two little kids. It's a little boy who's five years old, and he's lost a yellow, stretchy frog. And he is just devastated over it. His seven-year-old sister, Madison, had had uh, experience with praying for lost toys before. And has had God answer her prayers in many different ways. And she was trying to comfort her little brother. And later on that night, they still never found the yellow, stretchy frog. And Madison was sharing with her younger brother about how she had lost one of her favorite toys, a little pink elephant toy. And she had asked God to help her find it, and she never found it. Um, however, what she had done was that she knew that, um, that God had answered her prayer, even though it wasn't the way that she had hoped for. Later on that evening, Mom was cleaning, and lo and behold, she had found a purple stretchy frog that they had lost a while back, but had forgot all about. So you see, God answered that little boy's prayer for his lost toy. However, it wasn't the specific toy that he wanted. It was still a stretchy frog. However, it was purple, not yellow. But um, we see, you know, at that time, Madison said to her little brother, see, God has answered your prayer, even though it wasn't the way that you had expected it. And later on, as mom was continuing to clean, she found, you guessed it, the pink little frog. I mean, I'm sorry, the pink little elephant. And uh, it, I, I smile when I think about that because I think about times in my life that God has answered um uh, my prayers maybe not in the way that I expected them um, and later on in my life I found out why he answered it the way that he did so I just want you to think about that um, today as you think about the things that you're grateful for and um, you know there may be some issue in your life right now that you're dealing with that um, you're crying out to God right now and you just feel like he's not there or he's not answering your prayers just keep in mind that God knows the bigger picture. We don't always know it. And um, if you trust and love in him, um, that in itself should be enough to get you through what you're going through. Um, and I just wanted to let you all know that I am so totally grateful for you guys. Um, me and Mr. Mark just find you guys is such a blessing in our lives and we just want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and know that uh, we wish we all could be together. All right. God bless and hopefully this is going to work out. Ciao.